Hi, this is Ryan Lawler from TechCrunch TV. I'm here in the office of Big Frame, which represents some of the biggest YouTube stars and has a couple of vertical networks uh, within it. We're going to be talking to them about you know, which stars they represent and what they offer up. started working for Phil DeFranco, who is a very popular YouTuber. Um, this was in 2009, mm -hmm. and it was just him and me doing everything. So we were producing three channels and working on brand integrations, doing marketing, press, and sort of you know getting his name out there. And I just realized that there was a bigger opportunity. Um, Phil was going to start SourceFed, which is obviously hugely successful. Um, and I saw that I could help more than just one YouTube talent, and that there was kind of a need for someone to come in and manage the talent. Um, advertising dollars were starting to flow into the space and um, you know there wasn't it was really like the advertiser going direct to the youtuber and it was generally a very awkward um, matching because the YouTube talent didn't know how to interact with the brands and vice versa mm -hmm. and so that's kind of how I got started um, and obviously from that um, kind of kernel of an idea, it snowballed into what it is today, which is um, you know a media company with four owned and operated brands and a robust MCN or multi-channel network business. So some of the channels that we work with include Tyler Oakley, who's a pop culture vlogger, Miss Glamorazzi, Wheezy Waiter, who does kind of smart, sophisticated comedy, Life According to Jimmy, he does par a parody on frat life. Mr. Guitar Man, who does stop motion animation, as special effects, music videos. Daystorm Power, he's the biggest hip hop channel um, not signed to a label. So for the emerging talent, we really help them grow their audience by giving them best practices, working with them on their content, um, you know, in terms of production quality and types of content they should make. Um, we also help them monetize by connecting them to advertisers, doing brand integration deals. And then for our big channels, we actually manage them. So we are working with them on booking tours or um, you know, book deals or whatever it might be, or setting them up with agents who do those things. Um, so we do share a lot of clients with agencies and we kind of run the YouTube side and the brand side and the agencies are running kind of the more quote unquote traditional side. And how do you sort of choose or how do you become a part of the big frame network? We are pretty selective. So while a lot of MCNs, you know, their play is mass scale, for mm -hmm. us, it's really about quality. So um, a lot of our, ch our channels come to us now through um, either them reaching out and us looking at their content saying, you know, do you fit into a vertical? And if not, can we, you know, sell you with our ad sales team or is there a bigger play? that we mm -hmm. see for you. You know, it's really about quality and ambition, as weird as that sounds, but you know, we need content in order to sell, in order to grow your channel, in order to do what we do, we need them to make content. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's sort of a combination. And then it's just kind of instinct. Um, as weird as that sounds, all of the managers who work here have really good instinct on what good channels are and um, you know what kind of will work within our system. The communities that we focus on, we have Wonderly, which is the set that you're on right now, is a community for creative, smart, female-driven content. Okay. Um, we have Polished, which is a fashion, lifestyle, and beauty vertical. We have Outlandish, which is an LGBT vertical, and then we have Forefront, which is an urban vertical. When you talk about building these communities, um, sort of, you know, as you think about collaborations or getting creators to work with one another, that type of thing, how important is that as a part of the business? It's essential. Okay. So we have um, some proprietary software that we have that, or I'm sorry, some proprietary technology that we have um, that is, you know, very much about cross promotion. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we've always kind of been very good at bringing people into the network who are willing to collaborate and we can see other people that they can collaborate with. And so part of that vertical strategy is also helping make that an easier play because you want to collaborate with people who have similar but different audiences than you. And right. that's really how the, the conversion happens. So when you think about um, how the sort of market has changed, you know, mm -hmm. specifically around YouTube, like what are the big trends for you or that, you know, you find um, most important? Um, I've been doing this for four years. So in the beginning, it was really how do we get, you know, how do we 
uh, collaborate and how do I use my influence to bring up other channels. Then that kind of um, started going, well, I should be, if I'm promoting this person, I should be taking a percentage. And then that turned into the kind of the MCN business. And then the advertise, you know, the next wave was kind of like, how do we bring the ad dollars? And then the mm -hmm. next wave was kind of this talent war of, you know, how, okay, all the big channels are kind of shuffling between networks and who's going to like pay the most for this talent. Right. And that's kind of settled down. And now you're really seeing exactly what we were just talking about, which is alternate revenue streams. How do we, you know, we've all kind of, we know how to do advertising now, though the dollars aren't exactly where we want them to be. We know how to do it when the time is right. Um, we know like the talent are all kind of settled. We all kind of have our deals in place. We mm -hmm. know kind of what we want. Although of course, talent will still shuffle around a little bit. Uh, but now it's really, how do we, how do we use what we've built and the knowledge base that we've built to really create a solid business not just a VC funded business, but actual profitable businesses. Right. And that's really the conversation that all of the MCNs are having with each other right now.